Hello and welcome everyone. the channel and thank you for uh, tuning back in today I have uh, one of the newer models uh, of Smith & Wesson I would not say it's the newest or but in this particular caliber yes it is kind of the newest I'm kind of late to the game I guess uh, la uh, mid last year a lot of videos came out of this so you probably have figure out what it is either by what I said or by seeing the picture obviously by seeing the picture all right so let's see what is in the box and what is my first impression of this particular firearm the first time I'm shooting it see how it is see what all malfunction it has if it has any and first of all let's go ahead and dig into it and see what's in the box and by the by if you are not subscribed please feel free to follow the channel or subscribe it and you can also support me by doing that it will definitely help me as well as the whole 2a algorithm for all the channels uh, that produce similar contents so let's uh, go ahead and jump into it and see what it is all right here we go it comes in a nice box, MNP M2.0 Smith & Wesson. So Smith & Wesson MNP 2.0 in 22 caliber. Uh-oh. Oh, there we go. I'm carrying it. So what I did was, I want to see how comfortable it is to carry it. I'm not saying that uh, you should carry it, or if it is the best to carry, I really don't know at this point. But I had it on my belt to see how it carries and I did not have a holster for it. So what I did was I have a generic holster that I use for pretty much everything that does not have a holster. And this guy does a good job. It actually goes with your shape of your body. It shapes itself after using for some time. It's leather. Uh, it can be worn inside or outside, but it's better worn inside and pretty much every firearm that I've used with this has a snug fit in this It's one of the cheapest cheapest holster I could find in Walmart So if you're looking for a cheap holster to try it out Try it out. I'm not advocating for this, but go ahead and give it a try and see how you like it uh, trust me, this one worked well for this, as well as a few of my other firearms that I've tried. Uh, it does cover the trigger guard. It sits low, but, but it doesn't fall off. Like it's, it's, it's not going to like jump out of you. I mean, you're not going to do aerobics with this. So keep that in mind. Don't be that guy. All right, let's dive into this. So here, it comes with two magazines. Obviously it is loaded and I will be using, I'll go through the magazine. Right now I have it loaded because I'm about to fire it. It's a standard capacity magazine and I'm not going to go through the capacity because pretty much everyone knows the capacity of this magazine. Uh, and also this one stripped down for the for being compliant with YouTube policies. So. It's uh, pinned down and I'm not, uh, it, standard it comes with 30 round magazine. That's the standard capacity magazine comes with 30 plus one. So it comes with the gun, two magazines. It's 30 plus one magazine that comes with it. Uh, optics ready slide. So that is one thing I like. It has a optics ready slide. I would not call this ambidextrous or ambi release. It is definitely reversible release. It's not ambi, it's reversible. So ambi means, you know, like it has to 
work at the same time but it does have ambi slide release ambidextrous slide release, uh, slide release as well as safety is ambi all right you have it on both sides so that works well you can call it ambi but definitely not the mag release all right next thing it's lightweight it's fully loaded let me see what the weight is when it's fully loaded i'm gonna move this around it's fully loaded 753.6 grams if it's empty 570 grams is its weight not too hard to carry and it comes with a lock and a key and then uh, an offer from lockdown Smith and Wesson safety instruction manual uh, and then the warranty register online yes the warranty card for those of you who go ahead and register it on their site i don't know if i will do it i probably will not i have and then that's pretty much the firearm <coughs> and everything that comes with it there is a cutout for the second magazine third magazine if you have in this case yes I bought a second one separately so I can definitely put that in there so it can have all together three magazines in this all right so now uh, let's look at the trigger and it is empty there's nothing in the chamber and it has a flat facing trigger as you can see with the trigger safety which is super nice like so far like flat facing trigger with the trigger safety it's not it's very easy on my finger that's one thing it's real easy on my finger to pull it I don't have a gauge to wait but there's multiple people who has done it so I am not going to go through that oh, my goodness that feels awesome that is a perfect trigger feel I would say it's the best trigger except the 1911 that I have that one has very crisp trigger and this one also and the take up uh, now the release all right there you go again release it's, it's it's pretty it's not too far and you can really feel it it's because uh, it is an internal hammer fire pistol that's possibly the reason why it feels so good so now let's uh, don't waste our time let's go to the shooting part of it and see how it fires if it's going to give me any trouble i'll be using CCI Maxi Mag as well as Amscore EMRF. So this is 40 grain jacket at hollow point, and this is total metal jacket CCI Maxi Mag. This is a target round, this is a defense round. But let's see how these two run. I will be running this jacket at hollow point at first. It's launched 22 MRF by Amscore. Um, I tried this on my uh, Rossi 22 mag rifle lever action that ran very well. I liked how it is. It's nickel plated and this is brass. So I'm gonna run this first because that's what I have loaded and then we'll try this and see which one runs better. I missed out on something. Since a muscle flash is pretty bad on that, I decided to wear this without fail, without forgetting. 
So let's get back into it. Let's load it. Safety off. That's a hit. And that was on target. That was on target. Yes. It is loud. So, yes, it is true, <laughs> the muscle flash with this, I don't see it, but I can feel stuff hitting my face. So that is there, yes, it is loud and the muscle flash is there, so yes, I would recommend wearing a safety glass. It ran flawlessly all of those rounds without any fail on the uh, amp score MRF let us now try the CCI before I go with the next uh, two rounds that's already filled up Another thing I forgot to mention, it was wrapped in this Smith & Wesson butter paper or, or whatever you want to call it. Yeah, it's, it's full of oil and even after shooting, I did not oil it, the magazine has oil. So it comes well oiled from the factory. So loaded with CCI MaxiMag, let's see how this shoots. Works fine. Good. 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 First failure to feed that is with CCI man. Uh, this is one thing that was mentioned by everyone like the wall is kind of thin on a 22 mat. So it can get punctured or it can get bent, which is what happened to this. I believe I'm gonna try it because when I pulled it back it fed into it. Good. ran the whole round one failure to feed I'm gonna run the amp score one again and see how that goes all right I'm here with amp score so this time with the CCI mag I did not have too much stuff hitting in my face honestly honestly I forgot my uh, glasses but I didn't feel anything I would say don't forget it with amp score it was a big deal let's try again oh yeah with this yes yes
Fresco ran perfectly. No jams, no misfeed. Perfectly fine. All right, so here, at the remaining rounds, all of it, it ran well, no issues. To conclude the video, it's a good, uh, good, really good pistol. In fact, I would say it's a good concealed carry. If you can manage to hit the target multiple times and to the capacity, you can, you can definitely stop an assailant without any problem. Is it easy to conceal? Yes, it is easy to conceal. It is not really hard to conceal. It's not heavy firearm. Uh, yes, it has a bigger footprint, but depending on how you carry, it should not be a problem for you. My autofocus is kind of acting up. And other thing, it's kind of blocky here. Yes, I've seen multiple people mention that, but I did not feel too bad about being um, so blocky there was totally fine i did not have a problem with it so that should not affect you all but personal preference if you don't like it you don't like it so make sure you try it out and it has friend sides fiber optics which is good so i forgot to mention that that's pretty much all about the firearm and it's very oily like if you can look at here the trigger is dripping oil after firing so much of round. hope you all like the video please provide your feedback i'd like to see uh, read what you feel about the video so please feel free to drop in your comment and let me know how it is so i can make changes accordingly thank you everyone you have a good day take care see you later bye bye